Let us discuss how does vacuum tube diode work? In November 16, 1904, first vacuum diode was invented by Sir John Ambrose Fleming. And it is also called the Fleming valve. This is the first thermionic valve. In those days, there was no existence of PN junction in electronics field. Here, the vacuum diode works mostly like modern diode, but its size is larger. It consists of a vacuum container with cathode and anode inside. This cathode and anode are connected across the voltage source. The anode is applied with positive voltage with respect to the cathode. Generally, it works on principle of thermoionic emission. This cathode is heated by a filament. Hence, electrons get emitted from cathode and attracted towards anode. If the positive voltage applied at the anode is not sufficient enough, the electrons emitted from cathode due to hot filament are not sufficiently attracted by anode. As a result, one cloud of electrons, that is negative charge, is accumulated in the space between cathode and anode. This is called space charge. Due to this space charge, the further emitted electrons get repealed and come back to the cathode. Hence, Virtually, electron emission stops. No current flows through the circuit. If the applied voltage between anode and cathode is increased gradually, then more and more space charged electrons come to the anode and create weakened space for further emitted electrons. So, with increase of voltage across anode and cathode, the emission rate of electrons will be increased. At the same time, the space charge is gradually vanished, that is neutralized, on the anode. Once, for certain applied voltage, between anode and cathode, the entire space charge is vanished. There is no more obstruction for emission of electrons from the cathode. Then, a beam of electrons starts flowing freely from cathode to anode through the space. As a result, current flows from the anode to cathode. On the other hand, if anode is made negative with respect to cathode, there is no electron emission from it, as it is cold, not hot. Now the emitted electrons from heated cathode do not come to the anode. Due to repulsion of negative anode, strong space charge will be accumulated between anode and cathode. Again, due to repulsion of this space charge, all further emitted electrons come back to the cathode. Hence, no virtual emission takes place, hence, no current flows in the circuit. So, Vacuum diode allows current to flow in one direction only.